is Amanda Dooney and we're here at my apple orchard, Suncrest Orchards. This farm is one of the oldest um, orchards in apple production right here in Norfolk County. It's been in production since the 1960s. We actually have Paula Reds uh, that are still in production today. Pest management is super important to practice on the farm. Um, you want to produce a beautiful fruit that is delicious. You also want to keep your trees nice and healthy year after year so they're maintaining that good production and yield. Observation is very important. It starts with someone like myself, the farm owner. I'm also training people who are working in the orchard every day. Just what they need to look for because the more eyes out there on the ground, um, the better you're going to be able to control any problems that may occur on the farm and just really nip them in the bud right away. IPM is integrated pest management, so it looks at kind of minimizing the damage caused by pests uh, while also looking at minimizing risks to human health and also the environment. When you discover pests in your orchard, you also need to be aware of beneficial insects. So one thing we look for in our orchard is mites. There are uh, bad mites that cause damage to the tree, but there's also beneficial mites that eat those bad mites. So it's really important to get out in the orchard and take those leaf samples and make those observations and do the mite counts and count the beneficial insects because if you have a really good beneficial insect population, chances are you don't even need to fire up the sprayer and go spray. So it's really important to monitor these things on a day-to-day -day or week-to-week -week basis. Um, you're, end, you're gonna end up saving a lot of money and also kind of minimizing uh, risk to the environment with putting out chemical for insects. When it gets to the point where you think you have to spray and pests are at that economic threshold, it's really important you have to be certified and trained how to properly apply the chemicals. I've taken the Ontario Pesticide Safety Training course. Um, I learned a lot of great knowledge and skills, how to apply chemicals properly, the rates I'm using and all the different equipment that I'm using to spray as well as the chemicals, and also the proper PPE I need to use to keep myself safe when I'm using those chemicals. When it comes to spray, you have to very carefully monitor what the environment, what's happening in the environment. What are the weather conditions? Uh, you don't want to spray when it's very hot. The chemical won't be effective. You definitely don't want to spray in the wind because you're going to have problems with drift, uh, spray drifting on property or drifting away from your tree that you want to treat. So again, it's very important to monitor what's happening with the weather in order to ap apply the product at the right time and have the desired effect. Keeping careful spray records is very important on the farm. You want to keep people safe. You want to have a record of what you sprayed, especially for your food safety program. You don't want to be applying things too late in the season that could be leaving residual uh, chemical behind. Good horticultural management or orchard management starts early spring. So in March, we are out pruning the orchard. It's a great time to prune. The trees are dormant. You can see the tree structure. And what you're doing essentially is just opening up the tree to sunlight. And that way the spray, if you need to get it, it can penetrate right into the middle of the tree. And you're also opening up the tree to sunlight, which is gonna produce good color on your fruit. Some other things we do are weed control on the farm, especially in younger or newly planted trees. The reason why we do this is we don't want those weeds to compete for nutrients and soil moisture. So we are applying herbicides with a sprayer to really control those weeds at the base of the tree. Another thing we do on the farm is we mow. And what that does is prevents weeds from growing up to a certain height and producing seeds. Uh, we really don't want those extra seeds producing more more weeds on the farm. And then after harvest, we're making sure we're getting rid of any spoiled apples on the ground just to alleviate disease pressure. 
resources available to farmers are Omafra. They have a fantastic website. Um, they're also offering courses that are crop specific with regards to pest management. There's also the University of Guelph. They also have a lot of great courses as well. And they work closely with Omafra. If you have you know, something in your orchard your, or your crop that you're not sure of, you can send off samples and have them analyzed at the lab and they'll get the results back to you. There's also Fanshawe College, both in London and Simcoe campuses, and they offer an agribusiness uh, management program. And one of the courses is pest management. So a great resource if you're just looking at getting into farming or uh, you wanna polish up and learn some new skills, there's lots of great opportunities locally. I would encourage farmers to use an integrated pest management program on their farm. Um, it's going to get them higher yields, uh, a better economic return for their product, and a really great end product for the consumer, such as a great tasting and good looking apple.